Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn how to write a simple while loop and we will see an example using C program. Let's get started. So let me open code blocks. And to understand while loop, let's take an example of printing hello five times once again. Let's get started. As usual, file, new, empty file. And let's see this module is uh, lecture 12. So I'll save it. In my programs, I'm saving it as 12 dot print hello five times. And I'm just writing while. Now what I'll do is, I'll write a simple include stdio.h and include include conivo.h void main and now I want to print hello five times using a while loop. So first I'll declare int i. When you're using while loop, so we need to check the general syntax for a while loop is while condition. So let's write like this. So I'm writing here i is equal to one while i less than or equal to five. And I'll write here printf hello and i plus plus. Now, and then after while loop, I'm writing get ch. Now this is a program, this is general syntax for a while loop, while this condition and hello and i plus plus. So i plus plus means i value becomes two. And again, it'll come here. So the difference between while loop and if condition is that, when you write here if condition, when you write if condition, so the statements, so first i value is one. So condition is satisfied and it'll print hello, i value becomes two, and that's it. It'll not come back here. So it'll not go back to the condition once again. So if is a condition, it's not a loop. I repeat, when you use an if condition, if the condition is satisfied, the statements gets executed, and that's it. So now if I run the code, it will just print hello one time. So you can see here, let's um, build it. And now you can see here, there are no errors and no warnings, let's run the code. So you can see it's just printing hello only once. Now if I change this if condition to while, remember while is a loop. Now the statements inside while loop will be executed as long as the condition is satisfied. Now first time the condition is satisfied, now i value is one, it print hello, and then i value becomes two. So two less than or equal to five, yes, it'll print hello, and i value becomes three. 3 less than or equal to 5, yes, it'll print hello. And i value becomes 4. 4 less than or equal to 5, yes, it'll print hello. And i value becomes 5. 5 less than or equal to 5, it'll print hello. When i value becomes 6, the condition fails. And that's it, the loop will stop. So once i value becomes 6, the loop will stop, it'll come outside the loop. So that's the difference between if condition and while loop. So the statements inside while loop will be executed as long as the condition is getting satisfied. Whereas an if condition, just the statements are executed once. If is not a loop, while is a loop. Now what we'll do, let's save this and let's build the code. And there are no errors, let's run the code. You can see it's printing hello five times. And let's give slash n here. <coughs> Now let's save it and run the code. Now, now even though I change the code and I'm executing it, it's actually executing the previous code. So we need to build once again. So let's close it. Let me minimize it so that uh, from next time we can actually, we don't have to, uh, yeah. So what I'll do now, now let's build this. Build it, now there are no errors, let's run the code. So you can see here, it's printing hello five times using a while loop. And now let's take for example, I want to find sum of first 10 natural numbers. So, so now this is print hello five times. Now the requirement, let's take another requirement to learn using, uh, to learn while loop. Now my requirement is, let me open notepad. I want to find sum of numbers, sum of numbers from one to 10. So in this case, what I can do is, I can, let me illustrate in, MS Paint. <coughs> now what I'll do is I want to add those numbers from 1 to 10. So that means 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नो वॉट आई डू एस आई टेक ए टेम्प्ररी नंबर सम एंड आई इनिशलाइज टू जीरो नाउ आई एड जीरो दिस सम टू वन एंड आई एड दिस टोटल टू टू I'll add this total to three, so I'll keep on adding this. So first time sum becomes zero plus one, it's one, plus two, it's three, three plus three is six, six plus four is ten, ten plus five is fifteen, fifteen plus five twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-six, forty-five, and fifty-five. So like this, I'll keep on adding the numbers one by one and store it in the sum, and then we will display the sum which is fifty-five. So let's do this using a while loop. Now let's try to understand. Now sum of ten numbers. Now I'll create a new file, empty file, and I'll save it. And this is again lecture twelve. I'll write here twelve dot sum of ten sum of ten numbers. Now what I'll do now is I'll write include stdiva dot h and include include conaiva dot h wide main. Now first I'll declare int sum is equal to zero. Int int sum is equal to zero, comma i. Now why I've declared sum equal to zero because I'll be adding the numbers consecutive numbers to the sum. While remember I have to start from one. I is equal to one. While i less than or equal to ten, and I have to write here sum is equal to sum plus i. So already sum value is zero. First time i value is one, zero plus one that will be stored in sum. Now again I'll increment this i value i plus plus. Now i value becomes two, two less than or equal to ten. Already sum value is one, one plus two it will become three. I value becomes three, three plus three six. Sum value becomes six, and i value becomes four, six plus four ten. Sum value becomes uh, ten, and i value becomes five, ten plus five fifteen. So it'll continue and it'll store. Sum value keeps on changing, as I've explained in this. Sum value finally becomes fifty-five, so we want to print the sum. So I'll write here printf sum of numbers colon and plus sum or sorry uh, percentile d comma sum and at the last we'll use get ch. So like this we'll write we have written a simple C program to find sum of first um, ten natural numbers and now let's save it. And let's build it. And there are no errors. Let's run the code. You can see some of the numbers says 55. We got the output. So most of the times I see that student miss to put this uh, increment or decrement in the while loop. That makes the loop as infinite loop. So if students forget this, let's take. If you don't write the statement, the loop will always i value will be always one. So it'll be keep on executing it. So that's why it's called an infinite loop. So make sure that you write the statement when you're using while loop. So while condition and statements, the, con the statements inside while loop will continue, will keep getting executed as long as the condition is satisfied. So now in this module, we learned how to write um, a while loop using two examples. Hope you are clear with writing while loop. Thank you, and see you in the next module.